All right, um, do you see ego grow with belts? As you climbed in rank, do you find it's harder to leave your ego at the door? Or do you see this with students where they have trouble uh, tapping to lower belts? Oh man, I, I, I really don't see this as a belt thing. I see this more as a personal thing, you know? I think it depends on the, on the person. Uh, there's a, a, there's a, 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 a phrase that says, if you're tapping, you're learning, which is true, you know? Whenever you're not tapping, you know, something is wrong because maybe pe people are not pushing you too far and uh, you need people to actually tap you out. Um, when you progress on the belts, of course, it gets a little harder for you to tap. But doesn't mean that you won't tap. You know, if you train your taps, it was that. If you train hard, you're going to be tapped. And uh, I think the way to, to, for you to approach that and for you to, to work that, that out is to know exactly things you, you, you're going to tap. Doesn't matter who you are, you're gonna tap if you train. So face that as a positive thing. You have to try and have to risk yourself on the school while training on the gym or the school. You have to try something. And if you're tapping, it's gonna be actually a good sign. You don't wanna you, you wanna be that say like that's good this way. You wanna be tapped on your school or gym, you don't wanna be tapped in competition. That's right.